Hello everyone, and welcome to my bold and beautiful 24 channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Finn's update surprises Steffi, and Luna meets RJ to come clean. At IL Giardino Deacon says, I'm telling you I think Sheila might be alive. Finn says he saw what he wanted to see. You are under a lot of strain. Deacon hisses, Sheila had nine toes, I saw ten. Explain that to me. Finn claims his mind is playing tricks on him. Steffi is responsible for Sheila's death. At Forrester, Steffi admires RJ's sketch and wonders if Hope has seen it. With Thomas gone, this is an excellent opportunity for him. RJ informs her that Hope met with them and will be assisting them. Along with Zend and Luna. He believes they will all function well together. More new details about BNB guest star. Luna tells Zen that she is frightened of how RJ will react if she tells him about their night together. Zen realizes she believes he will break up with her. He promises that no matter what his cousin does, he would always be there for her. Luna tells Zen that it's kind of him to say that. She knows he didn't have the entire story the night they were together. She never anticipated to become engaged with two men from the same family. She doesn't want to cause trouble, but she can't keep living like this. RJ inquires in the main office about Steffi's well-being. Having learned about the strange memorial, Ridge walks in and exclaims, That was weird. RJ departs and Ridge asks Steffi, What was Deacon thinking? Deacon at IL Giardino is aware that Finn believes him is nuts, but what if he is correct about what he witnessed? What if I saw ten toes? What if your mother is alive? Luna informs Zen that the design is complete and that she will meet RJ at his beach house. She hopes Zen does not think she is being selfish. Zen promises her that he and RJ will figure everything out, as he is concerned about her. Luna insists that maintaining this secret is killing her. She cannot keep lying. It's just not me. Zen understands that she is a wonderful person who would never purposely injure somebody. She responds, You wouldn't either. Zen reminds her that if this will relieve her guilt, she must do it. Look at you, you're torturing yourself. Luna cannot wait another day. Zen nods. RJ deserves to know about our night together. Ridge and Steffi snicker in the main office at Deacon's strange homage to Sheila. Ridge asks, Why wasn't I invited to this? Steffi tells him that Finn and Hope were the only ones there. Ridge understands Hope's departure, but wonders what Finn got out of it. Steffi shrugs. He wanted to say goodbye. He rants. Say goodbye to the woman who almost killed him, almost killed you twice? Steffi realizes it's unusual, but she doesn't want Finn to blame her for killing his mother. Rich claims that Finn should be there to assist her. At the restaurant, Deacon introduces Finn as Sheila's son. What if your birth mother is still alive? What if we don't lose her? Finn inquires as to her current location. Deacon says she may be hiding. Finn confirms that Sheila died in his home at the hands of his wife. You need to stay rooted in reality. It is the only way to heal from this. Deacon asks, Tell me where that extra toe came from. Finn claims it's wishful thinking. Deacon needs to accept that he will never see Sheila again. More. Who is hiding Sheila? Luna, in RJ's beach house, agonizes over a framed portrait of them together. RJ enters with a bunch of flowers and hands them to her. They kiss and he asks what she would like to talk about. She apologizes for having him drive all the way out there. She simply wanted to converse away from the office and everyone else. RJ thinks that some of their fondest memories are there. And it's beginning to feel like home. They should make a point of spending more time together. They kiss but Luna pulls back. RJ inquires. What's wrong? Zen shakes his head as he recalls having sex with Luna. Carter appears and wonders why his thoughts was a million miles away just now. Zend acknowledges he's having difficulty focusing. Carter encourages him to focus on his huge opportunity with hope for the future. Don't let the pressure overwhelm you. Zend informs him it's not so. Carter wonders what has him so preoccupied recently. Something's definitely bothering you so what's going on? More B&B &B cut scene. Carter informs Zend that whatever is hurting him is not as awful as he believes. Zend wishes he were correct. I really need to speak with someone, Carter. It is about Luna. Carter B and B. In the beach home, RJ encourages Luna to speak with him.
He's noticed that she hasn't been herself for a long. Normally they are quite related. Luna nuts. I've been really stressed out lately. RJ wonders if he did something wrong. Luna says no. RJ wonders whether it has anything to do with her mother. Luna claims she's a part of it. RJ tries to help and tells her that he is a wonderful listener. Luna exclaims, You're the best guy, RJ. Her partner recalls that she has been aloof ever after his grandfather's celebration. What is it? Tell me. In the main office, Finn and Steffi kiss and canoodle. Steffi inquires about how things went with Deacon. What did he give you her ashes or something? Finn laughs and says she's in the ballpark. Deacon is really losing it. He's saying crazy things about Sheila. More B&B actor headed for primetime. At I.L. Giardino, Deacon drinks, stares at Sheila photographs, and mutters to himself. Ridge walks in and asks, What's going on here, Sharpie? Talking to yourself? Deacon orders him to leave. Ridge claims that if you stay out with a lunatic, you will eventually become one yourself. Deacon wonders what Ridge is doing there. Ridge thinks Steffi is struggling. This woman broke into her home, and his daughter had to take her down. Tell me about this memorial. He says that Sheila's absence benefits everyone. Deacon inquires, What if she isn't gone, Ridge? What if Sheila doesn't leave our lives? Steffi isn't shocked that Deacon is talking insane things about Sheila in Forrester's main office. He fell in love with the monster. Finn claims it was more than that. He was losing his mind. Deacon is questioning whether or not Sheila is actually dead. Steffi exclaims, What? Finn goes on to state, Deacon has convinced himself that Sheila may still be alive. Steffi's eyes widen in worry. Finn and Deacon search for missing Sheila. Homeless man Tom has clues? The bold and the beautiful spoilers and updates teases John Finn Finnegan, Tanner Novlin, and Deacon Sharp, Sean Cannon, will search for Sheila Carter, Kimberlyn Brown. They'll meet a homeless man named Tom, Clint Howard, who will provide some crucial information. The bold and the beautiful spoilers. New information emerges. When Finn and Deacon begin hunting for Sheila, new information regarding her whereabouts and fate emerges. Finn may believe Deacon has lost his mind for the time being, but it appears that something has changed his mind and caused him to disbelieve her death, possibly by checking more data. The bold and the beautiful spoilers. Finn and Deacon search for missing Sheila does homeless man Tom have any leads? Or it's possible that Finn simply has a huge heart, and is amusing Deacon by seeing how heartbroken he is, and attempting to help him accept reality gradually. Regardless of how their search for Sheila begins, they will come across a homeless man named Tom. They'll receive some answers from him on Friday, April 26th and Monday, April 29th. People.com sneak peek photographs show them talking to him in an alley. B&B spoilers. Deacon shows Tom a photo of Sheila on his phone. As Deacon and Finn examine Tom, Deacon gives him a photo of Sheila on his phone apparently. He has seen her somewhere nearby. He may have even stated that he had seen both Sheila and her twin sister together, which must be Sugar, originally played by Robin Matson and later in a dual role by Kimberlyn. Previous conjecture suggested that Tom remembered seeing Sheila and a doppelganger, or lookalike. Sheila had previously excused some of her absences to Deacon by stating that she was meeting a friend from the past Sugar was duped into getting plastic surgery to look like her. The two could have been conspiring together, or Sugar could have been out for vengeance and was attempting to frame Sheila, which went awry. The bold and the beautiful spoilers. Where is Sheila Carter? If Sugar was attempting to blame Sheila for killing Steffi Forrester, Jacqueline McInnes would, and Sugar was killed instead, she could have kidnapped Sheila and hidden her elsewhere. Or there could be a third party involved who has Sheila imprisoned, which would explain her whereabouts and why she hasn't returned. Tom appears to have some crucial information about Sheila's whereabouts, and Finn and Deacon go on a rescue mission. As mad as Sheila appeared to be about Deacon, it's hard to believe she'd fake her death with a double and then vanished. Our bet is that she will be found and rescued by Finn and Deacon.